The doll in this video is not a toy. It is a fragile and or expensive art piece or collectible intended for adult collectors. Hello everyone, this is Rachel or Caladiel Tan and welcome to another unboxing video. Today I'm going to be opening up a Snowdrop Seconds doll by Frapzilla. I was over the moon to be able to secure this doll because I just always assumed that it was out of my price range just based on the complexity and I saw other people posting about ordering them and finally I thought you know what I'm just gonna check the site like that couldn't hurt right and it turned out not only are the regular sets less than I expected but also there was a seconds option for a doll with imperfections and that's the one I selected the doll and its parts were sent in two separate shipments. This right here is going to be the main doll and then there was a tail part that they forgot to include and sent it separately. And the tail parts actually got here first. Okay, so this makes sense. Alright, so it's scent unstrung. So here we have the left foot. This is part of the tail, hands. Here are the little torso pieces. You can see how small they are. This is the lower part of the torso and this is the top part. And then this is the head. Inside the box we have really pretty tissue paper. This is just the tail for the doll. Isn't that beautiful? Here are all the pieces laid out. So I was thinking and there are imperfections on it. You can see the little places where the little posts were for removing it from the 3D printer. And I do have like a little sanding equipment piece. My concern is this is so tiny and I haven't tried out the sanding piece yet that I would really like to try out my sander on bigger items first. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to string her right now. I found this elastic. I'm just going to string everything together so that nothing gets lost and I can enjoy the doll all in one piece until I build up the courage to sand her and then it won't be too hard to unstring her and then restring her again. So all in all, I think it's the best choice. I have my elastic here. I have this paper clip to be the ring for inside her head. I'll probably need to trim it and I'm just going to put on the time lapse and get started. Thank you. 
Stringing the arms ended up being really hard. Not only are they very small, but also the elastic I was using was too big. I ended up just cutting the camera so that I could focus a little better, and I used some clear jewelry elastic that's designed for like making bracelets to string them. So it's not very tight. The legs are strung moderately tightly. The tail is not very tight though, and the arms aren't either. This is a very like sloppy stringing job just so that I have the doll together and I don't lose any of the pieces and I can start getting to know the sculpt. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this anyway. Sometime coming up there will be a customization video where I at least show you the before and after of the sanding and do a face up and all that. But for now this is what she looks like. I should mention the eyes did not come with her. They were ones I had on hand. She did not come with any eyes. There are some eyes available on the website from time to time, but they do sell out also, depending on when you go to look. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If this is the first video by me that you've seen, I typically make videos about ball jointed dolls, art dolls, and miniatures, with occasional content about fashion dolls and vintage dolls. So if you're interested in any of those things, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe. I typically release three videos a week. If you're already familiar with my content, don't forget about the Facebook group. It's linked below. And I also have the Patreon where you can help support my content financially in exchange for seeing all my YouTube videos one to two weeks early. And now that I've reached my first support goal, I also give away one doll every single month to a patron. Only patrons have access to that. So be sure to check that out and see if that's something you want to be a part of. All Patreon tiers can participate in the monthly giveaway. Those who support me on the Fairy Godparent tier on Patreon in a in addition to what I already mentioned, also get a print of one of my dolls sent to them every single month and a shout out in every single YouTube video I make. So shout out to Road to Eret Fan, Tanner Girl, and my anonymous fairy godparents. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!